the building is set to erupt. Japan's latest heartthrob, Philippe Candelaro, who has been overwhelmed with the candy mania that has been here in Japan. Japanese girls have been leaving flowers at his hotel doorstep. He's in second place, and he told us this morning he will try the triple axel late in the program, one that might have cost him a gold medal at the Olympic Games. This is a very famous godfather routine. It seems to get better each time we see it. We saw it for the first time earlier this year, and it just keeps evolving. We'll see if that continues here tonight. This is a key element to this program, the opening triple axel. Right on. Oh, and a triple toe loop at the end of it. He very rarely does a triple toe loop. I suspect that someone wants to set a very high standard out here for the rest of the men to chase. expressing the character and really selling the program but as he goes to set up each jump you see him really focus in on what he's about to do it's a tough thing to combine performance and as well the difficult triples and there's the flip he's knocking them all off whether or not Elvis is going to need his quad. And if Philippe keeps skating like this, he definitely will. A little rest period here. Perhaps asking for some divine intervention that maybe he doesn't need. He's doing just fine as it is at this point. Singled it, 
At least he didn't fall this time. He closes with his signature spin. Like I said, this program gets better every time. And stand by. It may take a while to clear the ice for Philippe Candelaro of France. He has laid down the challenge. Well, I've been told that his popularity in this country is a direct result from his now infamous Rocky exhibition program. <laughs> they love it when he takes that shirt off. <laughs> Well, there is candy mania going on in France, too. He was telling us this morning that three different networks are carrying his performance tonight back home, and that's unprecedented. Will that be enough for his first world title? Well, I think his program with the no mistake. Here's the look at the triple axle first. Just a perfect landing right on top of it, straight up into the triple toe loop. But the combination of the perfect program, here's a tr another perfect triple, that was the flip, and the overall effect of the program may just give it to him. We'll be back with the marks for Philippe Candelero after this. Rhythmic chanting from the fans as they await the marks for Philippe Candelero, a surprise Olympic bronze medalist, one of just five medals for France. And that country had projected 11 medals at the Games, so he has become a real hero in France. We've talked about his impact here. One of the busiest skaters on the circuit. Skate America, Pirouette, and La Ligue, NHK, and Barb, it's no wonder that uh, he's been a little tired. Well, it's been an exhausting year for him. Here's a look at the final triple axel attempt, which turned into a single. I think that was a safe bet for him. Well, better the single than the fall to leave a bitter taste in your mouth. A restart. There's the scene on the ice as they continue to clear flowers off the ice here at the event hall, Makahari. Alexei Ermanov will be next to skate, but we're still awaiting the marks for Philippe Candelero of France. A bronze medalist at the Olympic Games, just one of five medals for France. They had projected 11. There is Ermanov. But we've had such a delay with these marks in the flower clearing that it's like Ermanov's had a second six-minute warm-up out there. And now, the technical marks for Candelero. There, a nice set, five sevens and eights. And I'm sure the artistic impression marks are going to be even higher. And now, here they come, and you're right, Barb. Five, seven from the Australian judge, but the rest are eights and nines. Candelaro is wearing a hat. Will he be wearing gold? He certainly applied the pressure to Elvis Stoiko and Alexei Urbanov. <laughs> Salut.